Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at Dunkirk and what would happen if a non-league tier 10 club received a billion pound donation. So what we've done is we've got picked a team in the um, non-league tier 10 and um, it is Dunkirk that we have picked and we can take a look and see that they have got a billion pounds huh. a billion you say that's right a billion pounds at the club's coffers so be interesting to see kind of what they do and how they do um with things i'm sure it will run out at some point um but i guess it's just a race against time to see how high they can get in the league systems before all that money kind of disperses and disappears so we'll jump straight ahead five years see where they're at, at that stage if they've just got automatic promotions straight off the back and where we're at there wow okay so they're in the english midland football league premier division which i believe is only the division of Above where they started um, we are in 2025 let's take a look at the history so yeah um, it looks like they were obviously uh, in this league finished seventh got promoted so they did win the league in 21 22 but then they've hit fourth and fourth two years running um, also getting second in this year but not getting that promotion that they were looking for uh, certainly they have got a high average wage of three thousand five hundred pounds so they're paying enough money for teams to be, to to be getting promotion um the rich finances certainly are showing um they're bringing in a, a not too many players but i guess they're probably higher quality a, bit, a lot of money being spent on them with regards to kind of wages that are in there um and not a lot of players actually going the other way and leaving the club um so interesting to see that they've kind of stagnated at this stage already but i'm sure that that will change um let's take a look at those um facilities so there is an increase in facilities training facilities up to seven youth city seven junior coaching and recruitment four and three respectively so they are spending money kind of wisely really you'd say um let's take a look at this so it looks like let's go three three it's 577 million so they've lost a hell of a lot of money already i don't have a clue how that's happened is that possibly because of the facilities they've upgraded maybe um and that side of things because they haven't really, and, and obviously the wages as well, which is a lot of money um, per week to be getting. I mean, it's been five years, so uh, it makes sense that it might have kind of dropped that much. So 100 million a year they're spending, that's, that's quite a lot of money. But let's jump another five, see where they're at then, and go from there. All right, so there has been improvements for Dunkirk. So we can see here that they, um, they were obviously second in the league the year before but then did manage to win it and hit consecutive promotion straight away all the way up to the vanara uh the pitching southern oh no is that that's the vanarama south north even um although they did get relegated straight away again now interesting to see certainly that they've they've done that average wages have doubled since the last time we saw in five years they have actually doubled i'm not sure if they can really sustain this it's quite crazy when you when you look at things, they're still classed as rich. Um, transfer history wise, have they been spending much money? They haven't really spent any money as of yet. Um, still bringing in free transfers, but obviously a lot of money being spent on those wages that you can see there. Uh, let's take a look at those details. So finances wise, they've still got 500 million by the looks of things. So they're still in a good amount of money, which is interesting compar comparatively. Um, they have increased the youth recruitment, junior coaching and corporate facilities a lot since then. So they seem to be doing quite a wise little way of doing things. They've, As well as pumping it into the players, they've, they've kind of want to get that basis of a, a good team to allow them to start and develop those players and, and kind of hopefully push up those leagues. Interesting to see, certainly. So let's, let's go again. We'll go another five, see what's happened and where they're at, and we'll go from there league two then so they have managed to get those promotions that they wanted ah interesting wages have gone up again ten thousand pounds average wage in league two interesting to see so there are um 
it looks like they've only just managed to get that promotion. So they managed to get from um, back up into the, the National League North, um, stuck there for a couple of seasons in the playoffs, but managed to get promotion, um, finally winning that league by quite a margin, I see. Um, yeah, just missing out on that one the year before. But they did get that promotion um, to the Roman National League uh, with that win um, to League One. Um, League Two, sorry. Um, interesting to see, certainly, how that's come about. Um, oh, what's happened here? I don't know what's gone on there. Um, but yeah, so let's take a look at their transfers. Have they done anything different to what they have been doing? At this stage, doesn't look likely. It looks like maximum spending £17,000 on players. Uh, let's go to their finances. Uh, again, so it has increased. A professional club now being in the um, top division, four hundred million that they've got there. Facility-wise, again increasing that. So it's it's good to see that they've kind of got that base now that they they can look to to grow on and and kind of develop that side of things. Nathan Cameron really taking them up the divisions into the, the League Two. Um, maybe maybe we'll jump another five, see if they're able to hold on League Two or not. I mean, League Two and League One certainly have an interesting situation where they have a certain amount of money that you can spend in the division. Um, if players on average are being paid ten thousand pounds, they're not going to be able to register a lot of them. So it'll be interesting to see if they are able to kind of modify things, or if it is a case that they just drop straight back down and proper yo-yo up and down the league but let's jump another five and take a look wow okay so jamie vardy of all people are now in charge of dunkirk in league one so they got that promotion from league two i don't know let's take a look at when that was so they obviously got the promotion into league two um kind of battled around a bit relegation scraps but then pushed for the title came second uh, and just about hang on hung on in league one um, the year after. Interesting to see, kind of, they, they swapped him out for Jamie Vardy, their previous manager. Um, let's take a look at transfers. Is there any difference? Again, are they still not spending any money on transfers or 575,000 last year? Interesting to see a lot of loans going out as well. But Ismail de las Marinas seems to be the one. So let's take a quick look at some of his um, details. It's kind of the highest amount they've paid for him so he's a central midfielder he's quite versatile really um got some decent like kind of rounded stats there being paid five thousand pounds a week so it's a lot of money they're spending from coventry let's take a jump back and see who what else they're spending so 125,000 looks to be a lot on loans 145,000 there as well so they are spending a lot of money but it looks to be a large amount on loans um, but there is a, a good chunk on on players as well there um, now let's take a look at finances let's see what um, they're, where they stand with things there so it has started to increase even more so 380 million now um, so there is less and less in the Kofas um, in League One now though so they've only got a few more years I reckon until they have to get to the promised land as such the Premier League before they kind of lose things um, training and youth facilities have increased corporate facilities have shot up youth recruitment and junior coaching as well have, have been very good at being increased now with that what I think we'll do now is we'll stop it just there if you did enjoy this and you'd like to see a um, few more years into the future, see if they are able to reach the Premier League, because it is an interesting trajectory they've had through the divisions using that billion pounds they were given. Let me know. Um, like and subscribe and all that good stuff as well to make sure I'm aware of things. Um, and we'll take another look next time. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I will I'm sure I will see you soon and see you next time. Bye.